Welcome back to Oakhaven. Today we wanted to talk about another invasive species that we have pretty prevalent in the property, and that's Japanese honeysuckle, uh, Lanicera japonica. Uh, Japanese honeysuckle is a twining vine. If you look at it, um, it's got these beautiful flowers, which is why they were popular. They were introduced uh, as an ornamental in the early 1800s in New York, um, and uh, it's still used as a an ornamental. Um, didn't actually become a problem like escaping out into the wild until you know 18, late 1800s or so. Um, so it's got this beautiful flower uh, that starts out white, turns to yellow in old age, uh, honeysuckle. So in theory, everybody talks about in their youth. They, they did this as a child and my youth was uh, not, uh, not fulfilled enough because I didn't didn't suck honeysuckles in the, as a child, so <laughs> I don't know what what, <clears throat> what the the um, the point is there. But anyway, it does smell very pretty. I'm not sure about the honeysuckle part of it, um, but it is a a vining, a twining vine. So if you look at it, uh, we have a lot of honeysuckles that are problems on our property that are bush honeysuckles. They grow up as self-standing uh, bushes. Uh, this you can see actually winds around the plant, around the cedar here. Doesn't really have a lot of tendrils. Doesn't hold on like a, like a Virginia creeper does or a poison ivy or something like that. It just kind of winds its way around uh, and it can actually take over a plant and, uh, and smother it. Uh, you can see it's got broad leaves that will, will shade it um, and it will wind around the, the stem such that you can actually see where the stem is constricted by the, the honeysuckle. Um, honeysuckle is, uh, okay, so this is a non-native honeysuckle. There are native honeysuckles that also vine like this, um, but the leaves, while the leaves are in pairs on Japanese honeysuckle, the leaves on the, the, the two um, native ones that I'd be most concerned about, um, the leaves are actually combined in the, uh, in the middle here into almost like, looks like one leaf. Um, so this has two distinct leaves. Um, the leaves, when they come up in the spring, um, we're going to go over here a little bit and I'll show you, because it's a little confusing. Early leaves, I'll just pick this, because I don't mind not having it here. Sometimes the younger leaves have this serration on it, and it makes it look like it's a different plant, but that's just a different uh, different time that it's been growing up. The rest of the leaves on this honeysuckle are smooth, but this has this kind of wild uh, serration on it. You can see it's woody. Japanese honeysuckle is an evergreen, so in the winter you'll see it looking like this again. That gives it a, uh, an advantage over other plants, because in the spring it already has its leaves uh, out and absorbing energy, so it gets a head start, um, but then it grows up and, uh, and starts to strangle out all of the other plants that are around. Very invasive, uh, much of a problem. We're going to walk over here to the sycamore tree. And here you can maybe see a little easier how it twines. It just grows up and winds around and winds around and winds around. So control of honeysuckle, it's very difficult to control because it's wound around other plants. So you can't just like spray this with an herbicide necessarily because it would get on the other, um, in this case, the sycamore. Um, so it really needs to be, in a, when it's a vine like this, it needs to be cut and then the stem needs to be treated. People talk about just doing it, weeding it out. Um, I can't see that as being very effective. Uh, what we do around here is that in the uh, early spring before other things have come out because the honeysuckle is out, it's green, it's photosynthesizing, uh, we'll spray it with a 2% glyphosate on the ground. Uh, in the fall, the same thing, most things have died back, we can go out and uh, there's a, a period of time there where we can spray it with glyphosate and take care of it, um, but it is hard to control. So if you look on the internet, they talk about how great honeysuckle is as you can make a tea out of it, it's used as an herbal um, thing as a medicine. Um, 
you could theoretically make a tea out of the, the leaves, I mean, out of the, the, the flowers. Um, there, there's no toxins in the flowers that I know of. The leaves, and particularly the berries, do contain a toxin. I would not recommend uh, making a tea out of that. If you think about it, some people recommend taking the berries and the leaves and making a tincture, which they, can, they use for um, as an antibiotic, or an, uh, like on your skin for if you've got a cut or a scrape, um, that it would kill germs and things like that. So if you think about it, we're biotic. So taking an antibiotic orally uh, in a tea, it seems like a bad idea. Uh, we're biotic, we have a whole flora and fauna in our bodies that we rely on uh, that are biotic. That uh, when you take an antibiotic and it starts killing off things, uh, that, that has the potential to be not very good. So um, a, a tea with the, the flowers, I'm okay with. Adding leaves to it, not very comfortable with that. Berries, definitely I would stay away from that. I wouldn't eat it, it's not very toxic. It's not like your kids are gonna take, eat a couple of berries and uh, die from it, likely, I wouldn't imagine, but um, uh, I, would, I would avoid it. Uh, there's, there's some discussion in the uh, literature about uh, uh, early hunters and gatherers taking the, the stems of honeysuckle and putting them in the, in the water to kind of stupefy the fish a little bit so that uh, they're easier to catch. Again, I don't really want to be stupefied, so as far as I'm concerned, I would stay away from, from ingesting honeysuckle. So, thanks for watching and letting us uh, share some of our property again and uh, the Japanese honeysuckle and what we're doing about it. Uh, we appreciate you watching. We would really appreciate it if you uh, like what you see, if you would subscribe, hit the like button. If you have comments, that would be great. We'd like to start a conversation. Um, your experience with honeysuckle, uh, are you getting rid of it? Do you use it medicinally? Uh, we'd like to see your comments. So thanks for watching.